Another day, another ride in LA, and I've got a massive announcement to make. This is my 70 mile per hour electric go-kart built by Domo at Supervolt, and I'm officially giving it away. If you'd like to win this cart, you're entitled to one free entry into the giveaway, which you can claim in the description. If you'd like more than one entry, like 500 or 1,000 entries, you can also get those in the description. This giveaway will run for just over a month, and in that time, the cart will continue to be upgraded. The battery setup will be upgraded. The motor will be upgraded. In fact, since the very last video, Domo's already done some crazy upgrades to it. We've got body paneling, making it look like a Batmobile, integrated headlights, ambers, and underglow a speedo display, a rear view camera with a display, a horn, a voltmeter, and a master board to control everything in one place. There's also a new Ford reverse lever, steering wheel that clips on, a tire pressure sensor so you can monitor your four PSIs all in one place. And if you saw the last video, you know this was needed. We're now running a dual battery. So we've got the Arctic Leopard 72 volt on one side and the Chai 72 volt Cernon battery on the other side. It looks amazing, and it's only going to get better over the course of this giveaway. So if you'd like to win this cart, go claim your free entry down below. And if you'd like more than one entry, like 500 or 1,000 entries, you can also get those down below. And the sun is setting, so this is looking like it's going to be a night run. Put my lights on here. Looks f***ing mean. I'm going to test my horn, so don't be alarmed. That sounds like a cop. <laughs> this Speedo looks so sick. Got the headlights and the ambers. We're out. This is so nice with the headlights and the rear view camera. Oh! <laughs> so that bike has gears. It's electric, but it has gears. What's your bike called again? It's called an ET Moto. ET Moto. Son of a bitch. And this just broke off. No 360 camera, I guess. I, I was gonna have the 360 cam on the back. It would give us that GTA angle, but. I guess not today. Every time I hear a helicopter, I'm like, damn, they got us already, but that's not for us. There's nothing like street riding go-karts with your buddies. There we go, that's a good turn. So something about being so low is that when you're behind someone, you're just eating all their what they're kicking up. So this is totally street legal. I have a spoiler on this cart, and uh, that makes it street legal, right? Look at that rear view camera. Yeah, I can see exactly that. what's behind me. I don't have to turn around so nice. And I can control how high up it is. Look at that. Yo, what up? Yo, can I get out there? I'll make a deal. I'll give each of you guys two shots for a ride. Let's go. No. <laughs> Fast enough. Cassie, Cassie. Give me a little, like, real like a Oh, there's a cop there. Turn on all my lights here. Bang. All right, first cop encounter. Not bad. Not bad. Let off with a warning. Would you want to do this? Is this something you would do? You're watching it. You can't really just buy these right now. I think there's some out in Latvia. You can buy these electric go-karts from Latvia. But you know what? They don't go this fast. You pretty much have to build it yourself or convert one like these guys did. They converted theirs. This is actually built from the ground up by Domo, and he did it banging job with it. I don't know how you can have any more fun doing anything else. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. <laughs> it's that water. Oh, oh, oh. What's he doing? Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Stop! Stop! No. Yo, turn around your car! Yo, turn your car around! How, how do you feel? She's like, you, you sure you don't want to call the police? Like, yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Oh.
This just doesn't get old. If you want this cart in your garage, don't forget you can get a free entry into this giveaway in the description of the video. If you want more than one entry, you could get 500 entries trying my electric detailing line, Charge PV, and I'm just now releasing black labels on it, which I think looks fucking awesome. You can also find that in the description. Whew. Let's take this back out. I'm gonna start talking once we pass this light. This is where all the cops are, I'm nervous. <laughs> all right, we're good now. So yesterday went wrong, uh, kind of in a scary way. I've never seen anything like this happen. My buddy passed out while riding the Suron. First he slid out on the leaves, and our guess is that the adrenaline from that might have contributed to it somehow, but it's, it's hard to explain something like that, just passing out in the middle of a ride. Fortunately, he did slow down right before blacking out, uh, which minimized the injuries. I took him to the hospital right after that. I dropped him off at the ER, and we just, we had no idea what to make of it. I've never seen anything like that. He, he certainly never done that before. It's just absolutely a new fear unlocked for me. I've only passed out once in my life. I used to work at Chipotle, and I was on the line. I was rice, beans, squawk. I was making this lady's burrito, and I could feel myself getting really lightheaded. And by the time we got to the end, it's when you ask for a guac. Now, I've never passed out before that, but I knew when we got to the guacamole that if she wanted that guac, I wouldn't be able to finish it. So I'm like, hey, you want guac on this? And she's like, uh, thinking about it. I'm like, oh my God, please make up your mind and please say no. She's like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the guac. And the moment she said that, I passed out right there. Woke up on the ground. So it happened. I think the reason it happened to me that day is because I went on a really long run that morning and I only had enough time before my shift to either eat or And I decided to And I think that's why I passed out like three hours into my shift. I'm on my way now to this really nice sunset spot to take some photos for the website. I'm so excited for this giveaway. I want to have some nice pictures for it to get everyone stoked. This didn't exist before we made it, but it's something I've always wanted. It's fair, right? It goes through a third party facilitator. It's not up to me who wins. But I've always been nervous that, you know, somebody who has like five Surons will win a Suron and it's just not that big of a deal for them. But this, I know as a fact, nobody has this. And I also know as a fact, nobody can buy it. I am so, so excited to get this away. It'll be over a month before the winner is selected. So you do have some time to enter. You got your free entry. And in that time over the course of the giveaway, I will be upgrading it. So the battery is gonna be different and the motor is gonna be different among other upgrades by the time the winner is selected. Let's see if we can thread the needle here. Yeah. I've never off-roaded it before. Oh, that's a good spot. Damn, this thing is so sick. Look at this thing. Come on. Doesn't get more badass than that. All right, on my way back, as always, thank you so much for watching. As I do.